Hey y'all, Matt here again from RetroOnly.com. Today I'm going to be answering another question about the Nintendo Switch. The question I'm going to be answering today is whether you can use just one Joy-Con to play games on the Switch or not. Do you have to have both of the Joy-Cons? Should you instead buy a separate controller? Or can you, if you break one or you lose one, can you simply just use one Joy-Con to play Switch games. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop into the Switch and show you whether you can or cannot use a single Joy-Con to play on your Nintendo Switch. Before I hop into that, please be sure to hit that like button and then also subscribe to our channel. It really does help us out a lot as a channel and also allows these videos to be seen by many other people who have the exact same questions as you. So let's go ahead and hop into answering the question of whether you can use a single Joy-Con to play Switch games or not. All right, so here we are inside of the Nintendo Switch, and I only currently have one Joy-Con connected. As you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, you see that's a single Joy-Con that's connected. And how you do this is you'll go over to Controllers, and then you'll go to Change Grip Order. And then what you're going to do is you're going to push L and R. On the single one, it's S, L, and S, R. So you're going to push those little buttons on the Joy-Con itself, and it will go ahead and load. And as you can see, I've only had one Joy-Con connected. And then you're going to go down here to close. So what you do is you turn your Joy-Con sideways and then use the A, B, Y, X, or if you're using the opposite, con the other controller, then it'll just, they won't have any letters on them. And you use them just like you would when you're playing with two controllers. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and hop into a couple different games here and show you which games it works on and which games it doesn't work on. So let's go ahead and hop into Super Mario Brothers here and see if it works on this one. All right, so here I am inside of Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, and I'm gonna go in, instead of pressing L and R, I'm gonna push SL and SR on the half Joy-Con, and as you can see, it went ahead and went into it, and then you can choose the story mode, you can play with the, however you wanna play. So let's just go ahead and go into one of these here. Single player, let's just do easiest, and let's go ahead and go into that real quick. All right, and let's go ahead and go into a game. All right, and as you can see here, it is working just fine. This is with a single Joy-Con, and you can still jump. This is why it's easiest, because you can actually run through the bad guys. You don't have to worry about dying. Um, so that's kind of nice. If you have are playing with little kids, you don't have to worry about dying. Okay, um, so this is with a single Joy-Con controller. This is not with two. So you can play Super Mario Brothers with the single Joy-Con controller. Let's go ahead and go into another one of the popular games. Let's look at Mario Kart and see if you can play that with a single Joy-Con controller or not next. All right, so here I am inside the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, just the main menu. Instead of pressing LR, again, I'm gonna be pressing the SL and SR on the back of the single Joy-Con, and it does work. On Mario Kart, you can use one single Joy-Con and just play by yourself if you want. Let's go ahead and go into a single player. Just pick uh, one real fast. You gotta pick the player, doesn't matter. All right, and let's go ahead and start Mario Kart here. And I'll show you that I'm playing with just a single Joy-Con and how it's able to move as normal. Now, playing with a single Joy-Con, although it does work, is a little bit of a pain. You can buy adapters though that make the single Joy-Cons a little bit bigger, which is helpful if you don't want to spend the money on the extra controller you don't want to have to go and buy a totally different controller or buy a brand new Joy-Cons or the Nintendo Pro, okay? So as you can see here, you steer normally as well. You throw things with the um, the buttons on the back, the SL and the SR is how you do your drift. As you can see there, that's how you do that. So it's just like the regular buttons when you have the full controller on it. So let's go ahead and hop into one other game and I wanna show you whether it works on that one as well. And I'll do that now. All right, so here we are inside of the Harry Potter game. Uh, this is Lego Harry Potter. Let's go ahead and just go to new game. Let's go to there. And let's just go into it here. Again, I'm only using the single Joy-Con on this game and let's see if that works. All right, so I went ahead and skipped the intro. It obviously had a pretty decently long intro, in intro so I went ahead and skipped that for you. Again, I'm still using a single controller, so you can use this on the like use a single Joy-Con on the Harry Potter game, Harry Potter Lego game on your Nintendo Switch. And it's just like normal, you can push the buttons, all of them are the same. You can sw switch, you can do all of the magic magic things with your wand, all those sorts of things. So 
Everything is the same on Harry Potter and you can do it with a single Joy-Con as well. There's one last game that I want to show you and I'll hop into that one now. So here we are inside of Lego City Undercover. I still have the same Switch controller connected, just the same Joy-Con. And although I can push a button to go into it, the up and down doesn't work because I'm using the right Joy-Con. On this game, it doesn't allow you to use a singular Joy-Con to play it, although it does on LEGO Harry Potter. So even some of the games are hit, are hit or miss. As you can see here, it now at the bottom left corner is showing that it's a Joy-Con facing the other way. And that's because on LEGO City Undercover, you can't play with a singular or a single Joy-Con for some reason. You can on Harry Potter, you can on Mario 8 Deluxe, you can on Super Mario Bros. U. And on most games, you'll be able to play with a single Joy-Con, but there will be random ones, such as that LEGO one where you will not be able to play with a single Joy-Con controller. So you can expect it to work fine on most everything, but there will be some random off games that is simply, you'll have to have both Joy-Cons or purchase a regular controller for as well. Hope this video has been helpful to you and given you an example of, some of the games that it works with a single Joy-Con, example of those that it doesn't work with a single Joy-Con. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. You can also uh, send us a message on our website, retroonly.com as well. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.